nobody thinks people are happier because of these extra resources that we spend. Uh, in the United States now, the average wedding costs $30,000. In 1980, it cost $11,000. Uh, nobody believes that the couple is getting married today are happier because they're spending three times as much. Uh, it's just that the standard has shifted. And there's actually a very simple way to change the shifting of the standard, uh, and that is to abandon the income tax and instead have a much more progressive tax on total family expenditure. And the way you would do that is you would report your income to the tax authorities the same as you do now. One additional step would be to report how much you had saved during the year. We know how to do that for tax-exempt retirement savings accounts. The difference between those two numbers, your income minus your savings, that's how much you spent during the year. And that's the amount we tax. And we tax at a very low rate to begin, but as you spend more and more, the next dollar faces a higher and higher tax rate. So that way, People have an incentive to spend less on the birthday party and put more money in the savings, or to build a smaller mansion and put more money in the savings. And the magic of that policy is that if everybody builds a smaller mansion, the mansions satisfy them just as much as if they'd all built bigger ones. If everybody spends less on a birthday party or a wedding, everybody's just as happy as if they'd spend more. And in the meantime, we save valuable resources that could be saved and invested, or if people go ahead and spend anyway, then the tax revenue could fix the roads and help build better infrastructure, uh, repair bridges, build better schools, and so on. So uh, it's a way to get something for nothing. Another feature of the progressive consumption tax would be a very large standard deduction. So it could be 40,000 euros uh, for every, <clears throat> every family, and so your taxable consumption then would be your income minus your savings minus 40,000 euros. So the middle income families that uh, are concerned because they don't save much and wouldn't get a big savings exemption, those families would benefit not just from the low rates that accompany low taxable consumption, but also from the huge standard deduction. They would pay very little tax. The, the question of how much revenue the tax would generate depends on the rates that, that you establish. Uh, there have been studies showing how much revenue would be generated with different sorts of rates. Uh, I think very few studies have been done of the, the very high rates at the top that I propose. Uh, the, the idea being that if you're already spending 4 million euros a year, uh, the next euro you spend is probably for not not for something essential, uh, and so if we tax it at a very high rate, maybe even 100% or more, uh, it just makes it more expensive to buy that thing, and nobody would really suffer since uh, the, the capacity of extra consumption to yield extra satisfaction depends much more on relative consumption once you're at that high level in the first place. What we know is that just telling people to spend less on consumption has no effect. Uh, you could say nobody needs to spend 10 million on a birthday party, but uh, the reason they're spending a lot is that in their circle, that's what it takes to, to have an event that seems special to people. Uh, if there were a heavy tax on the next spending on such things, then people would just by their own reasoning find it a practical step to cut back because they would rather save that money tax-free than spend it. And when everybody cuts back, then the amount you need to spend to achieve a special occasion goes down with it. So I think uh, what we know is that people, mainly they follow their incentives. And if we want people to spend less and save more, we've got to change their incentives. People say it would be a great idea, but it could never happen politically. Uh, yet now, there is support for this proposal from both conservatives and liberals. Uh, the liberals like the progressivity of the tax, and conservatives like taxing consumption rather than income. So it could happen.